Welcome to TUI Transfer Talk. Uh, more reports have come in today, or a few days. Uh, Nathan Redmond of Norwich City could be on his way down to Southampton. Of course, this story emerged uh, twice earlier on this season, uh, being last summer in that window and also in the January window. So today I'm joined by a special guest uh, to give us a lowdown on Nathan Redmond. I'm joined by Jack from Talk Norwich City. How are we doing, mate? I'm very good, thank you. Thanks for having me on the channel. No problem at all. So let's get into it then. Uh, what can we expect from Nathan Redmond? What type of player is he? Nathan Redmond is, is your typical young winger who's very inconsistent, but has always, always got something in him. Uh, I really like Nathan Redmond. I think I'm actually in the minority of Norwich City fans. Um, a lot of Norwich fans have fond memories of Redmond. His goal at Wembley, you know, his goal against Ipswich last year. Um, and he, he played pretty well this season, but a lot of the old school Norwich fans always look back to like the Darren Edies and go, oh, why isn't he taking his man on? Why isn't he scoring more goals? The thing about Nathan Redmond is, is I don't think his development has been as quick as most people thought. He, when we got him in from Birmingham, I think he was either 19 or 20. He was playing some really good championship football. And we thought, right, we'll get him in the Premier League. He's, he's going to be firing on all cylinders. And I think his only goal in the first Premier League campaign came against you guys at home. I think he only scored once that, that season, uh, scored a long ranger. Um, and then we dropped down to the championship. He played pretty well, you know, scored quite a few goals, especially to the tail end of the season. And we came back up and we thought, right, this is the time when Nathan Redden is, is really going to shine, really going to push on. And to be honest, hasn't really done that much. Um, he's quick, he's skillful, but his, his final delivery isn't great. Um, his final shot has been poor at times. I think in a better team, he might be a good player. But for me, this season, he hasn't really lived up to expectations at all. Um, but what you will get from Redmond is a player who, in a good team, with regular game time, with if his development keeps on going, which needs to improve, he's going to be a cracking player. From, from the sound of things, he's not really been one of your key players this season. But I was going to ask you how important, but... Wait, well, really, he seems like a, a a missing man, really, for you. Yeah, I mean, he should really be one of our key players. But last season, the thing was last season, we had a lot of half-decent players slash decent players who didn't live up to expectation. If they did, we would have stayed in the Premier League. And I think that's the thing that annoys Norwich City fans the most. If we would have stayed up, there wouldn't be much criticism to Nathan Redmond. But due to the fact we've gone down, we're in the Championship now, and that probably could have been saved by the likes of Nathan Redmond, um, and, and some other players as well. I think that's why Norwich City fans are annoyed. But losing Nathan Redmond, don't get me wrong, would be a massive blow to Norwich because he is fantastic in the championship. He'll score you goals. I think last time we were in the championship, he, he wasn't that great and still scored something like 12 goals uh, and two of them being in the semi-final and the final of the playoffs. So big goals. Um, he would be a big miss. But if we're talking like £10 million, then you know I can't really turn that down. Like I said, £10 million, £10 million has been tabled. Is that a good deal for you? How much would you value him? Is it, do you think he's worth £10 million? I think he is worth £10 million, but for a club who's just been relegated, that's big money. Um, you can get two quality championship players for £10 million. And the thing is, if Nathan Redmond doesn't want to be here, which I don't think he does, then we'd be a mass, absolute mug to turn that down because he could go another year in the championship not performing and his value is just going to decrease. I would value, after his tournament in Toulon with England, I think that's raised his, his value a bit. Uh, I'd say anywhere between 8 to 12, I think would be would be fair for Redmond. At the end of the day, you'll get an England under-21 player with lots of Premier League um, experience. That's going to cost you money. And I think that's why his value is is quite high. Yeah, I mean, like you sort of touched on there about the England under twenty and under twenty one setup. You know, if Redmond were to come to the Saints, he's got some England uh, under twenty one teammates with James Ward Prowse, Matty Target, and Jack Stevens mm. who can who can help him settle in. Um, you know, it, it's sort of a, a case for you really because you know it's it's a bad time for Norwich to go down with a big money coming in. Uh, Ten million pounds, do you think it's a snatch a handoff job? I think it is, and I. I... The, this is the first time since 2009 since Norwich City have put their big players up for sale. Usually when we go down, you know, we've been a bit of a yo-yo club for the past six, seven years. Usually we, we try and keep hold of our best players. This summer, our board's been like, right, we need to get rid of uh, Brady, uh, Redmond, Jerome, these kind of players to get one off the wage bill and just to bring some money in. So it's not a fact of if you'll get him, it's if you'll get him or if another club will get him. It's, we will definitely let him go. Yeah, I think there's about six or seven Premier League clubs that are actually linked to Nathan Redmond. Um, it's uh, at the moment it's between the red and whites between us as the Saints and the uh, the Stoke red and whites. Yeah. Um, 
But there we have it, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the Nathan Redmond gossip. Um, obviously, good luck to Norwich City next season. We hope you come back up uh, in the Premier League. Um, but let us know in the comments what you think of all of this. Would it, would it be a good fit for the Saints? Subscribe for more.